multiprocessing.pool, when to use apply, apply underscore async or map? I have not seen clear examples with use cases for pool.apply, pool.apply underscore async and pool.map. I am mainly using pool.map, what are the advantages of others? Back in the old days of Python, to call a function with arbitrary arguments, you would use apply. Apply still exists in Python 2.7 though not in Python 3, and is generally not used anymore. Nowadays, is preferred. The multiprocessing.pool modules tries to provide a similar interface. Pool.apply is like Python apply, except that the function pool is performed in a separate process. Pool.apply blocks until the function is completed. Pool.apply underscore async is also like Python's built-in apply, except that the call returns immediately instead of waiting for the result. An async result object is returned. You call its get method to retrieve the result of the function call. The get method blocks until the function is completed. Thus, pool.apply func, args, quarks, is equivalent to pool.apply underscore async func, args, quarks, dot get. In contrast to pool.apply, the pool.apply underscore async method also has a callback which, if supplied, is called when the function is complete. This can be used instead of calling get. For example, may yield a result such as Notice, unlike pool.map, the order of the results may not correspond to the order in which the pool.apply underscore async calls were made. So, if you need to run a function in a separate process, but want the current process to block until that function returns, use pool.apply. Like pool.apply, pool.map box until the complete result is returned. If you want the pool of worker processes to perform many function calls asynchronously, use pool.apply underscore async. The order of the results is not guaranteed to be the same as the order of the calls to pool.apply underscore async. Notice also that you could call a number of different functions with pool.apply underscore async. Not all calls need to use the same function. In contrast, pool.map applies the same function to many arguments. However, unlike pool.apply underscore async, the results are returned in an order corresponding to the order of the arguments. Here is an overview in a table format in order to show the differences between pool.apply, pool.apply underscore async, pool.map and pool.map underscore async. When choosing one, you have to take multi-args, concurrency, blocking, and ordering into account. Notes Pool.imap and pool.imap underscore async, lazier version of map and map underscore async. Pool.starmap method, very much similar to map method besides its acceptance of multiple arguments. Async method submit all the processes at once and retrieve the results once they are finished. Use get method to obtain the results. Pool.map or pool.apply methods are very much similar to Python built-in map or apply. They block the main process until all the process is complete and return the result. Examples Map
is called for a list of jobs in one time. Apply can only be called for one job. Map underscore async. Is called for a list of jobs in one time. Apply underscore async. Can only be called for one job and executes a job in the background in parallel. Star map. Is a variant of pool dot map which support multiple arguments. Star map underscore async. A combination of star map and map underscore async that iterates over iterable of iterables and calls funk with the iterables unpacked. Returns a result object. Reference. Find complete documentation here, this URL. Regarding apply versus map, pool.apply if, args, if is only executed in one of the workers of the pool. So one of the processes in the pool will run if args. Pool.map if, iterable, this method chops the iterable into a number of chunks which it submits to the process pool as separate tasks. So you take advantage of all the processes in the pool. Yeah, that's right.